Hello. Today, I'm gonna try to see if I can kill a vampire deck. That actually works in Historic. Of course, it has to be best out of three, I think. I don't think um, Vampire is a little bit mid rangey, and I don't think in a best out of one environment where there's a lot of combo decks going around, I don't think it's actually. I mean, it's, it's you can still play it in best out of one, but it's just it's not going to be as good in compared to best out of three because you have all the sideboard options for you to bring in uh, things like graveyard hate, uh, things like that. So I'm, I'm going to build this in traditional historic setting. And of course, the first card that comes to mind is Soren, potentially the best planeswalker in the format, if the vampires were good, that is. But let's see if we can make vampires work. So I want to try something a little bit different. I want to incorporate some blood token mechanic into the stack. So I was actually very surprised at first, like I thought the blood tokens weren't going to be like anything special and um, playing alchemy and in standard, it definitely changed my mind. I don't play those formats too often, but just a little bit of what I played in those format, I definitely saw some potential there. So starting from one drop, I think this is the only one drop that creates a blood token. We do have blood fountain, but it's an artifact and a little slow for what it does. I'm gonna skip on this. I'm gonna try Voldaren Bloodcaster. A little bit of what I played in Alchemy using Voldaren Bloodcaster, it really surprised me. So I'm gonna try these. Since we have Soren, I don't think we can play Falcon Wrath. I do really like this card, but I think our three drop is gonna be a little bit too clunky. So we'll have to see. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll leave it in there for now. I'll probably cut it in the future because um, I do want to play Sanguine Brushstroke. This does create a vampire. It leaves a strong enchantment and it also gives you a blood token. So, and that's that's what I'm saying because if I add the Sanguine Brushstroke and Soren, then if you add Falcon Wrath, then your three drops are going to be cluttered. So yeah, this probably needs to go. And this card is surprisingly good. It's a 2 mana 3 2, so aggressive stats, and it also becomes a removal in the future. Pretty darn good, honestly. So in you go, 4 copies of that. So I didn't have a chance to test the standard or alchemy, but I'll try it here. We'll have to see. What's funny is that in historic at the moment at least, there's a lot of um if you're if your creature can survive three damage, then you're good to go, right? Like you have you can avoid lightning helix, you can avoid anger of the gods. Um you also dodge things like unholy heat, which is a one mana deal two. I think that's all for blood tokens, right? Okay, so let's take a look at all the vampires. Obviously, Knight of the Ebon Legion. So what's funny is that I don't think we need to play Dusk Legion Zealot. And I say this because we have so much ways to cycle our deck because of the blood tokens, which is fantastic because usually this is the kind of card that you cut first when it comes to sideboarding. But instead of that, let's add Cordial Vampire. Obviously this card is very, very good in, in Vampire. We got the one drop secured. We also got the two drop secured, I think. And for the three draw, I'm not adding anything. So there is Florian, but honestly, I'm not a fan of Florian. I want to play with blood tokens, so the three drop is a little bit clunky. Like Soren is obviously better than Florian. Sanguine Brushstroke is a must if we want to play blood tokens. So I'm going to skip over Florian this time. Oh, we forgot Vampire Socialite. Yep, that this definitely has to go in. And then we also need to add four copies of Champion Dusk. 100%. Also, I kind of want to add a copy of Olivia. Just because um, we are in the colors. There's also Immersion Predator too. Hmm. Like, is this card better than this? Like, if we are going to train. I think you're supposed to play both of these in the same deck, honestly. Wow, there's a lot of cards in our deck. There's a lot. 
let's say I'm playing 23 lands. I believe that probably has to go. Not gonna lie. Like, even if, right? Even if I curve from Soren into uh, Olivia, what are the chances of me having a large creature in the graveyard, right? I don't think that's gonna happen. At most, I think you'll like resurrect something like a Knight of the Ebon Legion or Boldair and Epicure, but I think it's gonna be more clunky than anything. Soren into Olivia. So if he were to play Sanguine Brushstroke, the Harvester, Boldair and Epicure, a Voldaren Bloodcaster and Anji for Blood Token Package. You gotta cut from these? Oh my god, that's gonna be tough. I guess the easiest thing I could probably do is cut a copy of the Predator. Because you can't cut Champion of Dust, you can't cut Soren. You also can't cut Knight of the Ebon Legion. You can't cut these. Would you be able to cut any of these too? I mean, if you think about it, Vampire Socialite is just, like, Cordial Vampire is just way better than Vampire Socialite in most cases. Like, this card makes it so that people can't attack. This is a little bit more aggressive. Like, I'm kind of leaning towards Vampire Socialite. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna cut the Vampire Socialites. That frees up a lot of room, right? So, what else do we want to cut? Because we, I mean, we do need some removals and stuff. Maybe we start with three copies of Thoughtseize main deck. So now we gotta cut additional three cards. So now it looks like it's um beginning to look like me having to cut from either Anji or Predator. Hmm. You know, Immersion Predator actually has a lot of synergy with Scourge of Vampire because when another creature dies, you put plus one plus one counter on each vampire you control. So I think it might be, it might have to be Anji. As much as I want to play her, this probably is the cut. But maybe this is it. So, so let's take a look. So you got Dotsies in your main deck that you want to play as a disruptive spell. Then you got the Blood Harvester for creature removals. And then you also got Soren for direct damage and you can also use it as removal spells as well. You also have a, like a big blocker, like you can't actually get through this normally. Then Champion of Dusk to draw cards. You also got like a bunch of blood tokens to draw as well. This gives us reach as well against control decks and stuff. I think this is good. Let's do the mana base. First, Blood Crypt. Take two swamps out, take two mountains out. And then we add in the pathway. And I think we add Haunted Ridge instead of a uh, Dragon Skull Summit. So I'm gonna add the Haunted Ridge. And I'm gonna add a new card from Alchemy. The five colored pathway that scries. Where is that? This one. So what do we want for utility lands? So let's actually go with this. Minus two swamp. And for the red color, go with the den. How's that look? I mean, it looks okay. It looks decent. Kind of colorful. How do I want to do the sideboard? Okay, so what about the Phoenix matchup? We want some Graveyard Exile spells. So considering how we don't use any of our Graveyard, I think it's safe to say we can play one of the best uh, Graveyard removal spells. Relic of Progenitus. It's either that or Leyline. I don't like the randomness nature of Leyline. I'm gonna go with Relic, I think. And we'll play three copies of these. Let's say I'm playing against some um, Phoenix deck. So Phoenix deck, I'm probably gonna sideboard out Sanguine because it's gonna be too slow. Also gonna probably sideboard out uh, Thought Seizes because they don't really care if their cards get put in the graveyard. So seven cards that I'm sideboarding out in a matchup. I'm bringing in three copies of Relic. You know, this card is actually pretty interesting. What would be the best target to put the plus three on? The fact that this hits the Planeswalker as well is actually insane. So like you could put the Sav Vitality on like Voldaren since Voldaren flies, or you can put it on Immersed and Predator. Definitely not bad. What about this card? Is this card good? This card is a card with the greatest mana and creates a blood token. Wow. This might actually be pretty good against control deck. Let's say you play Soren into Minus, Connoisseur. 
they have to discard a card you create a blood token they also have to deal with this card so it's like a two for one and you also have a blood token if they have a removal spell in the end hmm you know i'm i'm actually gonna play two copies of it in my sideboard just because i have two copies that vitality is also very interesting i have a copy of it so i'll try a copy of it just as a removal spell but um i do need a way to actually so phoenix decks actually do play crackling drake and this is a card that i must answer usually uh, they bring it out just because um if you're all your phoenixes get exiled this is their uh, backup plan so in order to actually eat this you need a way to kill it a fatal push is a little bit i mean it's hard to actually activate a uh, fatal push isn't it unless you have immersed on predator out do we want to play an extra copy of immersed on predator in our sideboard we could so we could play um two copies of fatal push and one more copy of predator so when we do bring in fatal pushes like we bring this in together i think um i think doom blade's pretty flexible so I think I'm gonna actually play two copies of it in my sideboard. So against some um, Phoenix decks, I sideboard out Thoughtseize and Sanguine Brushstroke. So that's seven copies. I bring in three copies of Relic of Progenitus, two copies of Fatal Push, and two more copies of Doomblade. Maybe I sideboard out like an Epicure for an Immersion Predator. What about against the life gain combo deck, the Heliod combo deck? So against the Heliod combo deck, you do need some board wipe. The thing is they grow so tall though. Maybe that's not where I want to be then. So against the Heliod combo deck, I got two copies of Fatal Push, two copies of Doom Blade, and you bring in a Mercer and Predator to activate Fatal Push more easily. And you also need Thoughtseize. I think we we want to go up on Thoughtseize, right? Do we have Thoughtseize on my side? Okay. The so one, the thought sees two copies of Fatal Push, two copies of Doom Blade, and a Predator. That's six cards. Okay, what about a control deck? So we have Thought Seize. We also have City Stock Consort. What about that card that can destroy Planeswalker? Wrath Reaver. I think this card is actually pretty decent. Also, a creature itself that's pretty aggressively statted. What is our last card? What if we play a copy of edgar that definitely does not sound too bad <laughs> and i think the reason we can play it is because of this card forsaken crossroads which adds you can add mana of a chosen color which is pretty insane and i think i'll change a copy of swamp into a into a copy of pathway and then i'll change a copy of den into a copy of pathway as well We'll call this Vampire Train. Actually, I want to change something. I want to add... Some kind of like a tribal removal. Like a board wipe. I kind of want to play Witch's Vengeance. Like against uh, humans and stuff. I'm going to add two copies of these. And um, we'll take out a copy of... We'll take out a copy of Graph Reaver. Okay, I I'm actually going to cut a copy of relic i think yeah let's cut a copy of relic all right so i think we're done for real this time if you want to see more of this stuff hit the like button and subscribe and i'll also have a conclusion section at the end of the video to talk about the deck as well all right going second and without a land in sight except for this one I am going second though. Oh man, how greedy am I? How greedy am I? I mean, I could technically play this on turn one and then sacrifice a blood token. Oh my god, am I really gonna do that? I mean, I'm looking at so many cards. So, okay. I get a, I get a card. I also get to sacrifice a blood token, so I get to draw two cards next turn. The following turn, I mean. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'd love to see that. Land Elf, though. It's kind of scary. 
Ooh, it's an elf deck? Ooh. Really need to secure our land next turn. I think it actually might be Sacrifice Blood Token this turn. Elvish Clan Caller. Yeah, that has to go. I'm taking so much damage. <laughs> I am taking so much damage. Okay, so I kill the War Master. Do I? I think. I'm not sure if I can. You know, land. Thank you. The thing is, I need to kill that War Master. But at the same time... Hmm... I mean, I have to do this, right? Like, otherwise, I'm just gonna lose. I'm just hoping they don't have anything this turn. Okay. A little scary. They have a huge board, and I just have this lone with Mercer and Predator with Soren. Okay, let's see what they do. I think they're they're, they're gonna send three at Soren. Makes sense. Wow, they did not send anything. I am. That's crazy. I mean, that's fine with me. I get to kill Elvish Warmaster. That's very cool. Okay, so what is um, what is my plan? I think I'm actually gonna play this. And play this, uh... The scry? Perfect. Okay. It's an interesting attack, actually. Go so block. And then block, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I take six damage. Seven damage. What just happened? Didn't I block? Hello? What? Is that a bug? Okay. It just didn't show the block animation. I don't know why, but... That's weird. But let's say I take two here. Which is... A little rough. A little rough. I take two, I block, block, two, three, four, five, six. They they can kill me if I. Hmm. If I play this and I plus immerse from predator and attack, I block this. Okay, so this is happening for sure, right? Am I attacking though? If I attack, I I go to 14, play this, go to 12, block the lieutenant. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I take 8. Okay. 
A little scary, but we have to do it. Have to do it. Oh, I'm not taking... Okay, I'm not taking that much. Like, I'm taking one less. Still a lot, but... Okay, what if I take six from those? And I take... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, so, so I can attack with everything. I take eleven. And I chump the Lanowar Elf. I mean, Lanowar Visionary. So this is... I think I can actually win this. Okay. I block this. I take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? Good. Will I just win if I just attack with everything? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is it 10? Yeah, I just win. Bam, bam. Actually, I had a lot of outs here. I could have even Sanguine Brushstroke for two additional damage. Even if I, if, even if Soren was that dead, I think they definitely misplayed, right? They definitely had a chance to kill Soren, but they did not. Okay, so which is vengeance is why I put this in my sideboard for matchups like these. Uh, Fatal push is good. Doom blade's good. Sad vitality is good. I think I do want to play a copy of additional copy of Predator as well. Um Rush Stroke is bad in this matchup. And then let's see. Need to cut four cards. Maybe maybe not. Maybe not the Predator. Um I'm gonna go down on Two Epicures, just because we're bringing a lot of control stuff. What is the last card to cut? I'm gonna cut a Voldaren Bloodcaster. I'm actually gonna cut two Voldaren and then go up on Epicure. I mean, luckily, they had a really, really slow start last game. Even though... They had the War Chief. Okay, this is very, very good hand. Very, very good. Lanowar... Lanowar Elf start on turn one again. Am I going to Fatal Push this? Uh, I don't have a turn next turn though if I do that, but... I think it's worth it. Because let's say I don't kill it. Maybe not. Maybe I should've... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should play this. Because I don't have turn 2. Could be bad. Okay. Unless you just top deck a land like a legend. So, um, I'm actually gonna play Cordial Vampire because I'm about to Witch's Vengeance. Oh my god, this Witch's Vengeance is actually going to be crazy. 
Creatures of the creature type of your choice. Yes, keep flooding. Is that all you got? Can you play more... Creatures? Yeah, apparently not. It's fine. Okay, I could be more greedy though. You know, I could be more greedy. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to be more greedy. This is why I think the Cordial Vampire is better than the other uh, other card. The 2 mana... Rakdos Color... I forgot what the card is called, but... Does a similar job of putting counters on your creatures. Like, look what's about to happen. This car is about to wreck havoc. Oh my god. Elf. Oh my god, the sound. Oh yeah, social, uh, so the vampire socialite, vampire socialite can't do that. By the way, vampire socialite can't do that. I need another black source. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I'm going first. I don't have a turn one. I don't even have double black. Oh dear God. Oh dear god. Oh, this is... I mean, I'm gonna lose anyways by mulling to 5. I'm gonna keep this hand. Like, a greedy bastard. <laughs> like, I'm gonna lose anyways if I mull to 5. They kept 7 cards. Oh my god. There is a god. That's so good. I can discard or double black perhaps. Oh my god. That's actually insane. That's actually insane. We're gonna attack, attack. And we're gonna play Soren. And then minus. Nice. Very, very good. So, what does Blood Harvester say? Target creature gets minus X, minus X, where X is a twice the number of blood tokens you control. So, I could technically kill the sm Smoldering Egg here. Put on the Champion. And then... I'm gonna play... Epicure. And Cordial Vampire. So they need to actually respond with something here. Wow, they did not. This is about to buff everything. If they have a removal spell, they have they sh they should have used it. Oh my god, do they really not have anything? I mean, they must have. What are these tops, right?
Oh, I see what they were trying to do. That's... Okay. Cool, cool. Um, vampire. Do I want that. Probably not. Um, Back with everything. If they block... Yeah, so... Hmm. If they block the Cordial Vampire, they take 10. Aren't they just dead anyways? What? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have no idea what just happened. Uh, they are playing Hall of the Storm Giant, so I'm guessing they are playing some kind of a... Is it... Uh, control, perhaps? Smoldering Egg? Like... Maybe Is it Turns? I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Is it Turns. So, so is it? They probably have Prismari command, so Edgar becomes worse, but, you know, maybe they might not have it. So we'll bring it in. Uh, Predator also seems pretty good. So the egg, would they keep the egg? Would they still play the egg? Well, I mean... <clears throat> Thought Seasons is a guarantee for sure. Fatal Push. I mean, if they're playing Egg, we only need to play Fatal Push, you know? As our removal spell. Hmm. Conosaur is also very interesting. This is a very interesting card. I also want to play that as well. Oh my god, look at my... Probably not Edgar. I did probably play Prismari Command, right? The Blood Harvester was pretty good there, but I don't think it's gonna be. Maybe I don't even bring Fatal Push. Because I have Blood Harvester, right? Oh my god, the time is ticking. I don't know what to pick. Uh, Boldarin. Like that. Okay. Or a cyborg. I because just because I don't have a clue what they're playing. What 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 is happening? First I I had to mull. And then and then when I mulled last game, I have one land. And I get a fresh set of hand with no lands again. Uh, feels bad. Feels bad. Consider. Oh, consider? Is it a phoenix deck? I kind of want to thought seize. Because I don't know what I'm playing against. It is a phoenix deck. What? Really? I mean... Good thing I didn't play out my Cordial Vampire there. That would have been bad. Uh, 
That would have been really bad. Okay, so the plan is to get some lands so I can play out this Connoisseur. Or the plan is to get a Soren. Hmm, I am going to trust my gut. And play out, uh, play Brown Sensor or Jawari. Exile. Hmm, I wonder how many copies of Search for Escanta they play. Wow, I'm so glad they didn't play Chandra out there. Nice. I am- oh my god. This card is sick! Okay. I also have Immerse from Predator against Crackling Drake, so I'm I'm so glad they played out Crackling Drake first. Oh my god. Really? That's pretty lucky. I'm about to die though. Which is not good. Well, I got to see a little bit more of their deck. So their deck is just um It's it's just mid-range. Just the mid-range deck, but um Okay, so we did lose the game. Okay, um, that's good. Wow. Wow. That's... that's crazy. <laughs> okay, so... We saw a bit of their deck. Crackling Drake. So it's a little bit more creature focused than I thought. Um, in that case, Doomblade seems good. Mm. I think Edgar is going to be better against their deck. Then a connoisseur. Instead of a harvester, I want something else. I could bring in Graph Reaver as a test. It's a beater at the same time, but it's not it's not dead in your hand. Nice. Finally, some good hand.
Okay, so we did bring Edgar, so I'm gonna play this white. We need some vampires, though. So I think they actually still have egg in their deck. So I wouldn't be surprised if I saw egg there. And we did not. So I'm gonna lead uh, Soren here. Gonna plus on this. It would be pretty bad if they, um. Okay, they're looking for land desperately. This is good. This is good. A braid? What? Why do, why do they have a braid in their deck? I do very much need some vampires though. Man, Sanguine Brushstroke is such a good card. It is such a good card. Oh my god. What a card. And what a card Sanguine Brushstroke is. It gave me a vampire, so... Look at this. It's so good. Oh my god. It's so good. It's actually so good. It's so good. I love this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Just everything's just coming together. So good. So synergistic. It's so synergistic. I love that. Anger of the God. I mean, kind of expected it, but... Whoa! That does a lot of damage. That's pretty cool. They're playing a... Okay, so Blitz and... Um, the, what, the other card. We're gonna play Edgar out here. Which is good. We can sacrifice for additional train too. Maybe I should have done it this turn so that we um we could get a land. But they're playing at um So what's cool about their deck is they play Blitz and they play Crackling Drake and they bo both work off of having cars in your graveyard or exile. So cool. Let's see if they got anything. Raisin Borrower. I wonder if there's gonna be any outs. Because the this brush stroke's gonna kill them, right? So So this is a checkmate, right? They only have this much mana. They have to deal with the board. 
They have to deal with the hive, hive of the eye tyrant, and they also have to deal with sanguine brushstroke. Like this deck is attacking from so many angles. It's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Hello everyone, welcome back to the conclusion section of the video. Um, this is where I get to uh, talk about some of the cards that I liked. It's kind of weird because when I do best out of one videos, I do like um, seven or eight games, but and that does like come down to like about like 40 minute-ish, maybe like uh, less than an hour, you know. But you can get so many games in in best out of one, but in best out of three, we're about like 40 minutes in and I only play two matches. I only play two matches and that's definitely not enough to actually see if the deck is good or not. So before you get any funny ideas like whether or not deck is good, good or bad, just keep that in mind. So the cars that I liked. Well, I really like the fact that we have three copies of Thought Seasons in our sideboard. Very good. I really like that. I also really like my one drops. Four copies of Knight of the Ebon Legions. Very good. Well, there in Epicure is also I, I. So initially, I really hated this card during the spoilers and whatnot. I've come to accept that this card is a very, very powerful card. It is. It deals one damage. It creates a blood token. It leaves a body behind, especially in the historic vampire deck. You can use the body to sacrifice to Soren, or you can sacrifice to immerse your predator. So there's a lot of utility with this card. I really dig this card. Also, Voldaren Bloodcaster. So this card might not be as good in in historic compared to alchemy. Just because there's a lot of exile effects and one of the more premium board wipes in historic is anger of the gods right and anger of the gods exile so maybe if there was a card to cut in our deck this might be it this 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 is the primary suspect but it is a two mana two one that flies which is very good and it also creates blood tokens when creatures die so also very good um, Cordial Vampire, and as I suspected, Cordial Vampire is just a better Vampire Socialite. Initially, I had both Vampire Socialite and Cordial Vampire in the same deck, but obviously you can't have all the good cards in the deck, then you can't build a 60 card deck, right? So, initially, they were together, but I had to cut cards and have to make, make sacrifices, and that's the first card that I cut. And obviously, Sanguine Brushstroke, pretty insane in our deck. Not only does it create an enchantment that is like a ticking time bomb, it also creates a vampire, which is very synergistic in our deck because we are a vampire tribal deck. And it leaves behind a blood token. Like how this, this card is so good. And obviously, Soren, I don't really have to say anything about this card. This card is broken. And Immersion Predator, I was kind of iffy at the start whether or not I should have this card in our deck. But it is actually pretty synergistic in our deck. We do play Blood Artist, which triggers off of creatures dying. So Immersion Predator, when you sacrifice a card, you can actually force a trigger on the Blood Artist for extra damage. The same with Cordial Vampire. When, when you attack with Immersion Predator, you can also sacrifice a creature at the same time. And this will buff the whole party. But anyways, that's all for now. And as always, stay safe and have a great holiday. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.